Hey guys, today we're going to compare docker.io and docker.ce and we're going to show you how to install both of these on Debian 12. So my quick advice on this is if you don't care and just want Docker fast, use the built-in docker.io package. If you want to do things right and optimally, use docker.ce. Both should actually work totally fine in most cases though. Now alternatively, you might look into Podman or Kubernetes, but that's a whole other story. Now docker.io is a package from Debian and Ubuntu. Really, it's, it's a Debian package, but included in Ubuntu. Um, it's easy and fast to install. There are fewer steps, and the steps are easier to remember. It's easy to just quick install it without having to follow complicated instructions. Um, both are still pretty easy though. Now, it is also older, so um, the, the actual version of Docker you're gonna get with it and the tools are gonna be older versions included with this package. And the dependencies are managed independently um, with the Debian repo and they can be updated individually. So um, all, any dependencies, let's say if something has a security vulnerability or a bug, those can be updated and you don't have to wait for the whole package to be updated. So they can be updated independently of the Docker package. So that's kind of an advantage. So it's better to not have different versions for different apps. So you, so you also won't have a different version of a library for different applications. So that's another reason it's better to do it this way. And it's also easier to track issues and security holes. Um, so another thing about Docker Docker IO is, is, it, is it is not really that outdated. It's not, um, it hasn't been decommissioned. Um, so it's not outdated in the sense that it's, uh, you know, an abandoned package. It is, um, you know, there was some talk about it being unmaintained because apparently it was unmaintained for a while, years ago, but this is no longer the case and it is actually fine. So it is still a maintained package and something that is still considered current, but the versions will still be a little bit older than what you would get with Docker CE. So it does still lag behind a little bit. Now, Docker CE is a package from docker.com. It is a little bit harder to set up it's definitely gonna be newer. You're gonna get a much newer version of Docker and the tools that come with it. And it is certified by Docker to work. And it is your best chance, it is your um, yeah, best chance of having compatible dependencies. So, you know, with the Debian package, the dependencies should be fine but there's a chance you might have an issue with compatibility with some of the packages. It'll still probably be fine, but with Docker CE, the de more of the dependencies are built right into the package. And so, uh, and, and they're certified by Docker. So, um, you know, there's, there's less chance of having compatibility issues. So the other thing, um, dependencies so the way this works is dependencies are pulled in and built all together as one package so this can use more memory if different versions of applications use their own copies of a dependency so if a library is being imported by multiple applications and you have two copies of that library you know instead of having one copy of it it can use more memory it can use more disk space um this could also be a security issue because the, the built-in dependencies won't be updated with the system copies. Now, personally, I think, uh, you know, the argument for Docker CE is a bit more compelling. It's a tiny bit more extra work to set up, but uh, yeah, the arguments in favor of it being a, a more optimal choice, it's more up-to-date, um, more compatibility, I, I think it's a little bit better. It's a much stronger argument for Docker CE. Now, um, so that's that. Oh, and um, let me give you the results of what you get when you do install both of these as of today. So this is April, this is April 5th, um, 2024. And we're going to show you how to install these in just a, just a minute. But um, okay, so what we got with, uh, with the docker.io package, we got docker version 20.10.24. And um, let's see, it was a uh, there's a plus DF SG1. I think that's like a build number or something. I'm not sure what that stands for, if that's a patch number, but basically you get Docker 20.10.24. And um, if you, and for Docker Compose, you're gonna get version 1.29.2. Now with, uh, if you go with Docker CE, Docker CE will give you Docker version 26.0.0. So instead of Docker 20.10.24, you get Docker 26.0.0. So that's six major versions ahead, right? So the other thing is when you install Docker CE, this comes with Docker Compose installed as, um, it's, it's, it's installed as an extra 
component, or I think it's called a plugin, but it will come with the package. It, Docker CE will come with Docker Compose, and instead of running Docker Dash Compose, you would say Docker Compose. Now this will give you Docker Compose version 2.25.0 which is um, you know, the version of Docker Compose that we installed manually would have been 1.29.2. So, and another quick note, well, we'll show you the details of how those are installed in just a bit. So we're gonna cut away to installing the first one right now. All right, so here we are. We're gonna start out by just running apt update. And there we go. We've updated our repo info. We got the latest information. Now we're going to run apt install docker.io and I've sped this up as I am doing with all the installs in this video. So um, now we're going to run docker v just to check the version. And we see here we have uh, version 20.10 and uh, yeah, 20.10.24. We're going to run docker compose and see that it's not installed. So we're going to have to install that one manually. So we're gonna run apt install docker compose, hit yes, um, wait for that to complete. Gonna go pretty quickly here. And there we go, it's installed. Now we're gonna try it out. We're basically just gonna run docker compose v for the version. We got 1.29.2 and there we go. So now we're gonna try running docker compose without a dash and we see it's not there. So um, that just tells us that we don't have the plugin, but we had to actually install the separate tool. So now we are going to go ahead and remove Docker Compose and Docker. So we're gonna remove these to prepare to install the, the uh, alternate package Docker, Docker-CE instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and apt purge docker.io. And um, I'm gonna run apt auto apt get auto remove just to clear anything else out, any any um, dependencies and stuff. And then we're gonna run apt update again. Now we're gonna run apt install and install a few uh, prerequisites. These are gonna be prerequisites to set up the repo that we're gonna use to install Docker CE. So here I'm removing the sudo command from this command that I pasted in here. I'm basically running curl to add the key to, uh, to just add a, a key and then we're gonna run this second command I just typed right there. That one is actually creating a repo. And then we run apt update again to refresh the info for that repo that we just added. And now we install Docker CE. And now we, we run Docker system Docker, or rather system CTL status Docker. We see it's enabled and it's up and running. So no need to start it or enable it. Now we're gonna run user mod dash A G Docker user one to add the user user one to the Docker groups so that you can run Docker commands without having root access. And when we're gonna try this out and it's gonna fail, and that's because we have to exit out of the shell and then log back in. So we're, we're gonna exit out of this server completely and then just SSH back in again. Once we have a fresh shell as user one, it's gonna let us run Docker commands as user one. Now, there we go, we're back in. We can run hello world and it works. So that is the hello world program right there. Now, we're gonna go ahead and run docker ps. You see nothing there because it closed docker ps-a and you see a completed or exited uh, container. That's our hello world container. Now, if you try to run docker-compose, the, uh, the separate package is not installed, but if you run docker compose version with no dash, you can see the version is 2.25.0 and this is because by docker ce comes with the the plot the docker compose plugin already there so um yeah the the docker compose plugin is it's already included and it's included as a plugin so we don't have to install it as a separate tool we run docker dash v and we can see we have docker version 26.0.0 
And that's pretty much it. That's mostly everything we wanted to cover for this video. We installed both, both Docker IO and Docker CE. Docker IO did not come with, it, it did not come with any Docker Compose tool at all. So we installed that separately and then we removed both of them. And then with Docker CE, it came with Docker Compose, but it was installed as a plugin, not a separate tool. So instead of running Docker Dash Compose, we ran Docker Compose. And that, that's basically, um, you know, one of the main differences, that and the version. So we had a much newer version with Docker-CE rather than Docker-IO. So that was also nice. And, um, you know, we should expect better compatibility and stuff like that. So anyways, hopefully you found this useful or maybe even interesting. You know, you might want to give me a thumbs up. Definitely hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more great tech content coming up. We're doing a lot of stuff with servers, Linux, Windows, all sorts of interesting stuff. Um, hardware, software, programming, coding, 3D printing, electronics, Raspberry Pis, and all sorts of other great interesting stuff you're going to want in your YouTube feed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And um, that's it for today. So thanks for watching, and we will see you guys on that next video.